Now, this is a huge development. As many people have been asking, what did Cameron present to the grand jury in total? Why was Hankison indicted for wanton endangerment on the apartment next door and not for any of the shots fired into Breonna Taylor's apartment? A couple of hours before Cameron made his decision tonight, a member of that grand jury filed a court motion saying the Taylor case is too important to stay secret and the truth needs to be out. Shay McAllister is breaking it down. The motion was filed anonymously for protection, but also because the juror says there is no desire for notoriety or money, only the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. The suit points a finger at Kentucky Attorney General Daniel Cameron, saying he pinned the decision not to file charges against the three officers who fired weapons the night Breonna Taylor was shot and killed on the grand jury, but then didn't give any explanation. Using the grand jurors as a shield to deflect accountability and responsibility for these decisions only sows more seeds of doubt in the process while leaving a cold chill down the spines of future grand jurors, the juror wrote in court records. Taylor's family attorney, Lanita Baker, echoes the call for records to be released. The public has a right to know, you know, Daniel Cameron promised transparency, but he's given none. She and the rest of the Taylor legal team have been calling for the transcripts to be released since last week him being an elected official um, on a responsibility to this community he's failing in that regard at this point we we've asked reasonable we, we, we've given reasonable responses there's no reason a request there's no reason he's not responded at this point she's hopeful this new call for transparency may make a difference the juror says they are counting on it writing in the document the legal system has placed the grand jurors in this matter on an island where they are left to wonder if anyone who finds them will treat them well or hold the pain and anger of the lingering questions against them. The document ends with the juror commenting on Cameron's speech he gave last week, saying he chose the ending wisely. I choose a path that moves the Commonwealth forward and toward healing. You have that choice as well. Let's make it together. Thank you. And God bless. And this grand juror says he now has another choice, encouraging him to choose truth and choose justice.